We're all about creating the most trusted service business in the world. We do that by serving members, individual households and individuals around the world. We help organize uh, the best restaurants for them, the most appropriate restaurants. We help everything in travel from weekend breaks to holidays to business trips. And increasingly, we help people buy things in the retail space as well. Those members typically get their membership fee paid for by a sponsor in corporate, very often a financial service brand, a bank, a credit card business, a wealth management company that gives them our service and in return they get better financial metrics from their top customers. Some contracts that we expected to launch in 2018 and that underpinned the growth that was in the analysts' assumptions has now been pushed back into 2019. And the reason for that has been slower corporate decision making. But we believe those contracts aren't lost, they're just deferred, and we will get the benefit from them starting in 2019. The total number of large and medium contracts that we've got, that we're operating on or that we've won, has increased to 27 from 15 at the end of last financial year, just six months before this half started. Because the core business is doing better than we expected in terms of efficiency, we're actually in a stronger cash position and a stronger EBITR profit position than we expected. So cash and profitability are ahead of expectations. Revenue is behind, but we're expecting it to catch up into 2019. We've won some great new clients that have kicked in or are about to kick in. We're working with HSBC with their Jade account. That's super important because that's a lot of new members in six markets around the world, in the UK and Hong Kong, but several others as well. We've started working with Visa International in Eastern Europe and in the Middle East. We're working with OCBC, which together with HSBC will give us critical mass in Singapore. They own Bank of Singapore and they're the second largest bank in Southeast Asia. We've also started with MI Card, which is the card that is issued to the top customers of one of Japan's top luxury retailers. We're entering new verticals. Now, what I mean by that is that we're already very strong in one vertical, the financial services vertical, where we look after the customers of financial services organizations. But we are beginning to enter the employee benefit vertical, where we look after the employees of top employers. And we're also developing more into the luxury market, where we look after the customers of luxury brands. We've also made some very significant new hires into the team in marketing, in leadership, in operations, and crucially in technology, all of which will make us a stronger business for the rest of the year and into the future. In summary, we've got the highest member satisfaction levels we've ever had. We've got a great pipeline of new business coming in, but our revenues have been disappointing compared with market expectations. We'll fix that, we hope and expect, in the second half of the year with accelerating growth and even accelerating growth ahead of that in 2019 and beyond. New verticals kicking in from the second half of 2019 will also really help.